In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to do a slightly more advanced pass between uh, for white box photography, uh, such as this garland. It requires a little bit more effort to do the selection of the image and uh, as well masking out uh, between the two boxes. So we'll dive into it on a blank template uh, with just these two images to show you how it's done. So I've already gone ahead and opened up the nine box template with all the instructions uh, included here. We'll turn off the instructions just for this so that we've, uh, we've got a clean box to work with. Um, now we'll come back over here and these are our two images that we're going to work with. Um, so she's pulling on one end, they're wrapped up on the other and we're basically going to work on uh, on selecting these and, and getting them into the template. So to do this, um, I start off with the rectangular marquee tool to select the main box area. And then I zoom in and work on selecting this portion of the garland. To do that, I use the quick selection tool and just go over the garland really quick with the quick selection tool. Now if there's any big pieces that it's missed or big chunks that it's um, that it's added that I don't want, um, you can use the alt key to take away uh, sections or if you release the alt key it, uh, it's the add. So I'm pretty happy with the way that's actually come out. Um, so to get a really good selection here. I'm going to use the select and mask option up here. So I'm going to click on it. It opens up a whole new panel. And now you can see that it's showing me what is selected uh, right now. So what's important to me is the garland and how well the garland looks and how, you know, how nice it is. So I'll come over here and it's done a really good job. You can see that there's a little bit of white in some spots. Um, it's missing a spot here. So what I'm gonna do is use the Refine Edge brush, which is the middle brush up here on the left. And I'm just going to paint over any spots that I think need a little bit of help uh, with the selection. So I'm going to come in here and just try and paint over that to remove some of that. Um, I'm just basically going around the edges of this to make sure that uh, everything's selected, uh, selected well. So for something like this that has fairly sharp edges, um, I like to come down here and just increase the contrast a little bit and you'll get less uh, less of a fuzzy edge um, and kind of a, a sharper a sharper edge so that's about it for the selection of the garland um, so what i do now is i come down here and it gives you some options for output so at the very bottom of this uh, this panel here it says output two and it says selection there's layer mask new layer a uh, new document. So what I do is I actually just put it as a new layer and I click OK. So you can see there I've got my uh, new selection in its own layer right here with a transparent background. It has not done anything to my original so if I've caused any issues or anything I've still got my original to work on. Um, and now what I'm going to do is basically do the exact same thing over again for the other half of this image. So I'm going to select uh, my marquee tool. I'm going to go around all of that. And I'm going to use my quick selection tool over here to zoom in. And select So it wasn't selected on my layer there, so I'm just going to erase this using the Alt key. It 
did not do a good job of uh, selecting that. So now with that layer selected, I'm gonna go back and try that again. So as you can see, it's not doing a great job, uh, not as well as the last one because of the contrast with, uh, with her hand holding it uh, and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna use the same thing, select and mask. It's opened up this new window once again. So it's, you can see that I've got my box selected and I've got a lot of extra stuff down here selected. We're gonna try the refine edge again to see what kind of results it gives us. Painting around the outsides. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back up to my contrast, just like before, and increase my contrast so that I can, it was looking a little soft on the edges. So I'm going to use that and go to output selection to a new layer once again and click OK. And if I zoom out, you can see that we've got that selection. It wasn't as good uh, as the other one because of the hand that was in, involved. So when you shoot these white box uh, sessions, something to keep in mind, have have lots of extra at the sides so that you don't have to do any extra work. So what I'm going to do is uh, now I'm going to move both of these into uh, Photoshop or into the template, sorry. So I'll drag these both into my nine box template. Trying to get the other one visible there. Okay, so I'll work on this one on the left first and bring it down. And I always align my top left corner first. Use the transform tool, control T, and shrink it down. Now, if this edit's going a little quick with the basic edit, there is a video that you can watch. It's in the description on how to uh, do the basic edit and move these and transform and warp these uh, to fit the template better. Um, I'm not really focusing on that at the moment because uh, I'm trying to work with a bit more of a, an advanced selection for you. So now I'll move her and get her into position. I need to flip uh, flip this around obviously because she's pulling this way there over here So I'll go edit transform Flip horizontal and there so she's over to that side now Same thing I'm gonna work in the top work on my top left corner first And then transform this control T so I'm gonna shrink it down to the right size and zoom in so I can get a better look at my corners. So I still need to bring that in a bit. There I can just start to see my the corner coming out here. So now that I've got these scaled to the right size, um, I need to work on, on the overlap portion of these and, uh, and then the masking as well. To get a basic understanding of the masks uh, and how they work, check out the other video uh, where I, I talk about overlapping objects. So I'm gonna do a layer mask here and I'm gonna come down and using my brush, I'm gonna open uh, I'm gonna check out what's what's going on behind here 
And now what I need to do is basically make these two garland meet up. And to do that, I'm going to select this layer over here because we had the best selection out of it. And I'm going to try and make it uh, rise up and basically meet with this one. And then we'll work on masking out the two to make the blend, uh, the blend work best. So for me, what I've found with a long object like this is to use your uh, puppet warp tool. And you'll see what happens with the puppet warp when you turn it on. It puts in a crazy grid like this and it has me my selection all the way out to the edge filled in as well. And what I'd like to do is basically keep the rest of my image the same, uh, but bend just this section of the garland up to meet the other one. So to do this, um, if you click, you get these pins that show up on the image. And the pins basically anchor down the image so that that portion of the image aren't gonna move. Um, and, uh, and so I, I basically click around the area that I would like to move to, to keep it still. And at the very end of this, I click and hold and start to bring it up. And then here I'd like to maybe bring the middle of this up a little bit. And I'm just gonna work on this a little bit. So the less you have to move uh, this, the better, um, the sharper the image will be. So it's always best to try and get them lined up while taking the pictures. But if you do get into a position where they don't quite line up, uh, this is the way that I, I go about it. So as of right now, they look like they line up uh, very well. So you go ahead and hit uh, the check mark at the top or just enter and it will transform it and move it to that spot. So from here, all you need to do now is blend the two together um, and work on the white uh, aspect of the of the grid here. So. I'm going to come back up here and uh, erase my layer mask. So using white, fill that back in. And I'm going to come back down to this layer here. And I'm actually going to right click on the actual image part of the layer. And I'm going to go up and go select pixels. And actually, yeah, and then so once I've got that selected and you can see it's put uh, marching ants around the entire image as well as the little garland section here. And this is a little tip that I've picked up um, and it allows my edits to go a little quicker. So now I go to my layer mask on my grid while the marching ants are still selected. I use my black brush. Um, hard black brush, not a soft black brush, and I paint over that area. And what it does, it's gonna basically only allow me to paint within the marching ant. So I've, I've overdone it a little bit here uh, and up here now just with that click. Um, and then I'll go back and, and clean those up and also mask out parts of the layer mask or parts of the image to get them to overlap well. So using a white brush, I can go back in and just tidy up where I've overdone these. So I'm gonna zoom way in. And so I'm just tidying up along the edges of this. And you can take as much time as you want here on these. Um, but basically just give me a quick idea of what to do. So tidying up along here. So now that I've got that uh, 
cleaned up to her. I like the look of the of the lines and everything. Um, I basically want to make sure that these blend together well, and I'm going to use layer masks once once again. So I'm actually going to click on this over here, uh, this image. I'm going to deselect what I had selected. So Control D. And so on this image, I'm going to add another layer mask and I'm going to use my brush tool once again in black to erase the sections of this garland that I don't want to be visible anymore so that the overlap with the other one looks realistic and, and in line. So I might, uh, with this one, I might actually get the hardness of the brush down so you can see I'm at like 23% just to help to start blending these together. Uh, and we'll blend, we'll blend them like that. And when we zoom out, you can see that we've got a perfectly lined up and blended, uh, and blended overlap. I would go ahead and click on my grid layer, get my brush, control B, zoom in, change the flow to 1% and I would add in a shadow to this. So we'll just click along here and we'll add in a bit of a shadow and we'll zoom out. So I've over, overdone the shadow a little bit there. Um, probably go back and, uh, and, uh, and undo that, but that gives you an idea of how to add the shadow. Uh, I've, got, I've got a video specifically on, on shadows if you need to take a quick look at that, but that's how to do a, a little bit more complex of uh, an overlap and how to line things up nice. Uh, if you need any other help with tutorials, check out the description below. I've got a bunch on these white box templates.